Hi, this is Miss Lisa. Welcome to this month's edition of Kids Craft 2 and Craft for Tots. This month, in order to stay in line with the summer reading program theme of Tales and Tales, we're going to be doing fingerprint animal art. I hope you like it. So let's get started. In your craft pack, you see that you have the directions and a, three other pieces of paper, a paper plate, a paper towel, and a paint kit that we would like you to return to the library when you're all finished so we can do this again sometime. And also at your house, you can get a cup of water, maybe a pencil or a Sharpie to use. Okay. So the first paper we're going to work on is the one that says fingerprints art. And we're going to set the other papers aside. And then we're going to open up the paint kit and we're going to use this kind of like a stamp pad. These are watercolors and it's going to work just as well. And it was a little less expensive to do it this way than to get everybody stamp pads. But if you have some stamp pads at home, especially if they're different colors, those are actually the best thing to use. But this will work just as well. So what we're going to do is get a little piece of our paper towel wet and then we're going to get our finger wet. And then we're going to dip them onto the color that you want to use for your first animal. So I'm going to use orange first. And I get it to the kind of the stickiness I want. You can test it out there on your paper plate and see if it looks okay. If it's too light or too faint and get a little more water, just dip your finger into the water and then it'll get a little bit more watery, but you can um, dry it up a little bit by just continuing to rub your finger around in it and get it to the consistency you want. It might get too wet, might be too dry, so you got to get it just right. So once you get it the way you want it, you can start stamping on your animals. I picked the cat first, of course, big surprise, because most of you know my favorite animal are, are cats. I love them. And now I have an orange cat. And I used my pinky to make the head. So if you use your index finger to make the body. Sometimes you want to dip your pinky in to make a head. That's a little bit smaller and it makes a little bit smaller dot for you. But you can play around with that and see which way works best for you. So figure out all the animals you want to make orange. It kind of works best to stay with one color for two, three or four animals or else you'll be rinsing your fingers off a whole bunch. So play around, see which ones you want to do. You can look at the examples on the left or you can do them your own color, whichever way you want to do it. So now looks like I have three animals that are orange. I'll do one more. Then I'll again do my pinky so I can do a, the, the chicken's head. Makes a little smaller dot for it. And there we go. So go ahead and rinse those off and you can try another color. And of course, you don't have to follow what I'm doing. Do the colors that you want to do on your animals. Now we're going to change colors. So I cleaned off my fingers and dipped them in water. And then I chose my next color I want to use. And I go ahead and do all the animals I want to do with that color. And then again, I repeat the process. Clean off my fingers, go to the next color. You could take your time with this. I just sped it up so you wouldn't have to watch me do the whole thing. So you could get busy doing it yourself. And there's a second page that's very similar to this one that you can again look at the left side and what they've done. And you can go ahead and do the same process on that paper. And then after you get done with that, I have given you a blank sheet. So on your blank sheet, you're going to take a Sharpie, which is water resistant. And if you use a pencil or a pen, just check to see if it, it runs in water. But Sharpies are about the best because they're really waterproof. So I'm going to draw some little things here and see if you can figure out what I'm going to make here. Anybody got a guess?
Have you figured it out yet? Use the figure for the hat. There we go. Did you guess caterpillar? There you go. So you can make some of your own creations on this blank sheet of paper. So I hope you enjoyed this month's craft and we will see you at the Summer Reading Club events this summer. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh yeah, and don't forget to help us out by bringing back this paint pack. It'll really help us out. Thanks, we appreciate it.